In the depths of the Pacific Ocean, a metallic creature awakens, emerging from the cloudy sediment of the ocean floor. This is the world's pioneering interplanetary hook, conceived and deployed by controversial Harvard physicist Avi Loeb. He's looking for alien material and maybe he's found something that doesn't resemble anything in this world. Welcome to CZ Science. It's time to unlock the secrets of the universe. The year is 2014. A visitor from outside our solar system is on its way to Earth and we have absolutely no idea when it will arrive. Meanwhile, life goes on as normal on our planet when a meteor enters our atmosphere, blazing like a fireball in the sky and crashing into the ocean off the coast of Papua New Guinea. The object is not very big, only about a meter long, but its importance is immense. It is an interstellar material delivered to Earth, which now lies dormant in the depths of our waters. However, extracting this material would not be an easy task, as proving its interstellar nature would require a lot of effort. Still, the story is quite fascinating. Every day, Earth receives about 50 metric tons of meteors, and most of them burn up in the atmosphere. However, those that do not burn are no larger than a stone, and therefore do not represent a threat to life. But what's so special about this 2014 meteor? What stands out is its very high speed and the unusual direction with which it reached our planet. However, if no one saw it coming, how do we know it came speeding toward us? Well, sensors on a classified US government satellite designed to detect foreign missile launches were the only known witnesses to this fireball. And when scientists calculated its trajectory and speed, they realized that it came from interstellar space, a space rock with unusual speed and direction. Does that remind you of anything? If you fought of Oumuamua, you're not alone. What is surprising is that the information about the asteroid was not released immediately by the government. It took three years for Avi Loeb and Amir Siraj to convince the government to accept the object's interstellar origin and make it public. The story begins in April 2019, when Avi Loeb had already spent eight months studying data from Oumuamua, then considered the first interstellar visitor to the solar system. And here's a bit of information for you to remember. Oumuamua was hurtling through our solar system at a staggering 87.3 kilometers per second. At that distance from Earth to the Sun, any object moving faster than approximately 42 kilometers per second is too fast to be captured by the Sun's gravity. Anything moving faster than this local celestial limit can come from outside the solar system and, if unobstructed, must return to interstellar space. After analyzing Oumuamua, Harvard professor Avi Loeb knew that NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies catalog must contain other interesting objects. He shared this idea with his student, Amir Siraj, and within days, Siraj identified the 2014 meteor as a possible interstellar meteor, as its velocity before reaching Earth was close to 60 kilometers per second. It would change everything. If data from the Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, independently verified by the scientific community, were correct, the meteor would surpass Oumuamua as the first interstellar object to visit our solar system. Thanks to the collaboration between the Department of Defense and NASA, three years later, in 2022, the meteor was officially announced as the first known object originating from outside our solar system. And its fragments are now buried in the depths of the waters. Fascinating, isn't it? Well, Professor Loeb thinks so too. In fact, he believes the object could be a piece of alien technology, so he has planned an expedition to retrieve it from the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. And guess what, he managed to do just that. Using a magnetic sled, his team found 50 small, sphere-shaped fragments made of iron. Loeb claimed that they must have come from a natural environment other than the solar system or from an extraterrestrial technological civilization. The object, called IM-1, ignited as it entered Earth's atmosphere, leaving a trail of molten iron droplets in its wake. On January 8th of that year, Avi Loeb, professor of science at Harvard University, was approximately 100 kilometers from Manus Island, Papua New Guinea, on a scientific expedition to recover the fragments of the first recognized interstellar meteor. From the analysis of these data, we conclude that the object is remarkably resistant, possessing a greater material resistance than any space rock catalogued by NASA, which makes it quite unusual. Why would the first object from outside the solar system be tougher than iron meteorites and move faster relative to all stars close to the sun? And of course, there is the possibility that it is artificial, a spacecraft that has propulsion, which would explain why the material is so resistant. He did not rule out the idea that these mysterious iron fragments from the IM-1 could be the first concrete evidence of a spacecraft from an extraterrestrial technological civilization that has crashed on our planet. About two dozen people, including scientists from Harvard's Galileo Project, the ship's crew and documentarians who recorded the expedition, left the island city of Lorengo on June 14 aboard the Silver Star in the direction of this meteor, called IM. 
minus 1, short for interstellar meteorite 1. We found spheres, roughly spherical particles the size of fractions of a millimeter, and there were also distinctly molten droplets. The fireball released a few percent of the energy of the Hiroshima atomic bomb and transformed into an object about half a meter in size, becoming very hot and melting its surface. What we can find are the small drops that fell into the Pacific Ocean on January 8, 2014, when this occurred. Remarkably, we're referring to these fragments, each just a milligram in mass, and so far we've recovered 38 of them. It is remarkable that we were able to rescue them from the ocean floor, considering that we are exploring a large area about 10 kilometers in size and reaching depths of over a mile in some places. We're using a magnetic sled, which I'm going to show you, essentially a sled equipped with magnets that we drag along the bottom of the ocean to collect these fragments. We managed to recover them, and even if it proves that the object is of artificial or natural origin, Loeb said that the physical recovery of this material from outside our solar system by his team is already historic and successful. Back at the lab, Loeb and his team will determine what atomic elements and isotopes in the IM-1 wreckage might reveal about the origin of this interstellar object, or perhaps even its alien creators. This has never been done before, Loeb said. We've never had a package on our doorstep from a cosmic neighbor. This may be the first time humans have had direct contact with interstellar material. What do you think? Leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to CZ Science, because together we will unlock the secrets of the universe.